Hello everyone, this is Nikki Bishop and today I'm going to show you a short demonstration of the essential asset monitoring solution for heat exchangers. So let's get started. The first screen we see here is the home page. From here you can see the status of each asset being monitored. Right now all the assets are healthy as indicated by the green boxes and the health values that are shown. I'm now going to drill in and get more information on the heat exchanger. What we see here is the heat exchanger process display. You'll notice the health value is reported at the top left along with any active alarm text. Right now the heat exchanger is healthy so there's no alarm text shown. You can see the value and status of each input on this page as well as the value of the heat exchanger calculations. The calculated values such as heat duty and heat exchanger coefficient are shown on the far right hand side. So let's now go over to the inputs tab. On the inputs page you can see the current value, the average, and the baseline value for each input. There's also a trend window available here. I'm going to add the outlet temperatures, the differential pressures, and the fouling factor to the trend. To do that, you can simply click on the value for that input and the inputs will appear on the trend. The baseline values shown here represent a snapshot of the data that has been captured when the heat exchanger is clean. This creates the normal operating condition. Once the baseline is captured, all alerts are calculated as a deviation from this normal or clean operating condition. I am now moving over to the configuration tab. From here, you can configure the alarms. This is also where you will find the exchanger constants entry page. The exchanger constants, such as heat exchanger area and heat capacities, are important so that the calculations are specific to this particular heat exchanger. Let's make this demo a little more interesting and look at the case where fouling is occurring. You'll now see that the fouling factor is increasing, the hot outlet temperature is increasing, and the cold outlet temperature is decreasing. You can see this on the trend, the alarm window, and also as indicated by the animated text color. So let's look back at the process screen now. Now on this screen, we see the health is 25%, and the high exchanger fouling detected text is shown. Also, the fouling factor is flashing red to indicate the value is high. You can also see that the status of the exchanger cleaning is not required. So let's go back over to the inputs tab and see how the cleaning required is activated. Keep an eye on the differential pressure for the hot side. That's the black line on the trend. You now see that the differential pressure on the hot side is high. We have the same 25% health and the same fouling alarm. But let's go back to the process page and look at the exchanger cleaning status. Now we see that the exchanger cleaning is set to required. Not only do we have a high fouling factor, but we also have a high differential pressure on the hot side. This indicates that it's time to clean the exchanger. Well, that concludes the demonstration of the essential asset monitoring solution for heat exchangers. I hope this has been helpful to you and that you can see the benefits of online monitoring of heat exchangers.